Hey, good morning, y'all. I am so glad today that the Word works. You know, we've been looking at Psalm 91. It says, no evil. What part of no don't you understand? You know, somebody sits around and says, well, I know the Lord sent me that to teach me something. Uh, what part of no are you having problem with? Psalm 91 says that if we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, no evil, no sickness shall come nigh thy dwelling. That means we're accident free. I said this the other day and I had somebody sent me a post and they didn't like it. I'm reckless. I'm a reckless driver. That means I don't have wrecks. I don't crash my airplane. I don't have a wreck on my motorcycle because Psalm 91 is a scripture that we can meditate on, get it in our heart in abundance, and then after we get it in our heart in abundance, we can confess it that no evil shall befall us. This is what the Bible says there in Psalm 91. He has given his angels charge over me. Now somebody says, well, you know, you've got to move with wisdom. Yeah, I understand that. But if you mess up, God's grace is greater to get you out of that mess than your stupidity was to get you in there. You know, one of my favorite verses of scripture is, my God hath delivered me, he is delivering me, and he shall always deliver me. Now, if I mess up, I'm not depending on my mess up nearly as much as I am God's grace to get me out of it. So I don't care what you've done in the past. I don't care what you do next week. God's grace is sufficient and his protection is sufficient to protect you. Now, it says a thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Or in other words, it didn't say whether I was using wisdom or not. It didn't say, you know, whether I'd gotten up this morning and praised God long enough. It didn't say if I'd prayed long enough. It just simply said that God was able to take care of me, and he's going to do that. And I'm having a little trouble with my camera here, so let me get it moved back up. So here's the thing. Somebody says, well, I wouldn't go out at night. Well, in Psalm 91, it says, the terror that flieth by day or the terror that flieth by night. Now, that don't mean I go to the, you know, some places at 2 o'clock in the morning. The best thing I do at 2 o'clock in the morning is sleep real good. But now listen to me. I don't go because I'm afraid to go. I don't go because, well, you know, the Lord may not want me to be there. Hey, I've been to some places on the mission field that, golly, you know, if I thought about it, the wisdom would say don't go there. I've been in dark countries. I remember being in Haiti one time. Everybody in Haiti is black. And in the church, the lights went out. I couldn't see nothing but a couple of white teeth on the front row. And I learned a lot about preaching and not being moved by what I say. Hey, I got to go. The thing is, I am not moved by any kind of fear because God's word says that he will protect me. And all I got to do is stay connected to him and everything's going to be all right. Hey, have a great day. When I'm with you tomorrow, the next day, remember Jesus is Lord and the word works.